Greenland's ice cap has just witnessed its first rainfall on record. More than 12 billion tonnes of water is melting off the ice sheet every day this summer, six times the rate just a decade ago. This weekend the country is hosting its first ever motorsport event, the newly created Extreme E Challenge, which uses electric SUVs to highlight the impact of climate change in some of the world's most affected locations. The course has been designed around a large, relatively open plain at the edge of the Russell Glacier, with a mixture of rock sizes from large boulders down to a fine glacial sediment and sand dunes, plus melting water coming off the glacier. The Arctic is a region that is not only being changed by rising temperatures, but is also a big contributor to rising sea levels around the world. Head of its scientific committee is world-renowned polar oceans expert Professor Peter Wadhams, who is concerned by the amount of melting he's seen on the Russell Glacier this year. There's, there's very special climate problems for Greenland, of course, are the fact that the Greenland ice sheet is melting, and it's melting at a really accelerating rate. It's melting about six times as fast as it was only a decade ago. And um, I was up on, on Greenland Ice Sheet and it turned out to be the day on which there was more melt from the Greenland Ice Sheet than any other recorded day in history. And it was 12 and a half billion tonnes of water melted off the ice sheet in one day. Now that's, that all goes into the ocean and raises sea level. So the, the rise in global sea level now, which might be several metres by the end of the century, is, is being driven by Greenland melt. The specially designed electric SUVs are backed by some of the world's leading motorsport champions. It's the first race to stipulate a female and a male driver on each team. We've been speaking exclusively to three of the women challenging for podium places in the Arctic X Prix about the importance of raising the profile of destinations challenged by climate change. Look, I, I love the series. I love being involved in this program and I love being involved with Rosberg X Racing and use this platform that we have and use the amazing connection we have with our fans uh, to, to educate. I think that's really the first step. Coming from Australia, obviously, we have quite a lot of effects of climate change right on our back door, but you see that all over the world now. So I think um, to be able to be in this industry and be able to be part of a way we can make a difference, I think it's, it's a huge opportunity for us and responsibility for us as well. Challenging tailor for the series lead is Spaniard Cristina Gutierrez on British electric SUV racing team X44, led by Formula One world champion Lewis Hamilton. For me, competing in the Lewis uh, Hamilton team is like a dream come true. Is uh, an incredible boss. One of the most important things uh, that extremely is that it makes visible the, the environmental problem of today, which is uh, why it made me fall in love with the project. So it's an incredible idea. It's a uh, is the future of competition, and also has made me learn to change things in my day to day. German championship driver Jutta Kleinschmidt is also encouraging more fans to move to electric vehicles. Everybody should try even electric car in normal traffic. I bought one myself and I have a lot of fun with it. Yeah, I think you have to try new things. You have to be open for new things. It's time to change. I think the motorsport has to go this direction and I have now the opportunity to be part of it and I'm very proud of this. US space agency scientists have also been studying the impact meltwater is having on accelerating the movement and melting of the Russell Glacier. If all the Greenland ice sheet melted, sea level would rise by around 23 feet. Dr. Lawrence Smith from Brown University is working on the NASA research. The number one reason we are here is all about global sea level rise. Greenland is the single largest melting chunk of ice in the world. What really matters to the world is how much of that water melted on the ice sheet gets out to the ocean.